What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got another one. We are really getting up to speed now with these highly tuned Audi RS6 and RS7 C8 models. People are tuning them left and right and we're getting a couple of very nice ones. So today I'm going to take you around this RS7 with 1040 horsepower and 1200 newton meters of torque by Brex Tuning and Power Division. This is Brex Tuning's development car and it is outrageously quick. So today I'm going to show you around it. I'll show you the mods under the hood and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn uh, for an Autobahn blast. Now, it is black again. Uh, unfortunately, we've got another black one. I mean, you hardly ever see an RS6 or RS7 of this generation in another color, but granted, it does look mean. With all the black stuff, the black grill, the black logos, all the black grating in the front, it, it looks very, very sinister. But we do see a lot of black cars, so would be cool to see some other colors as well. Uh, we do have carbon exterior package here with a little splitter, side blades there. Uh, I'm going to do a walk around quickly. You, you guys have seen this so many times already. But we do have these Vossen hybrid forged wheels, 22 inch. And these are 285 section tires at the front. Big fellas. And then we've got the carbon ceramic brakes by Audi Sport behind that, uh, which is very, very nice. Definitely need those on this very, very heavy car. Rear wheels 285 as well. So we've got 285 all around. And at the rear, of course, the beautiful LED lights. We've got a custom exhaust by Brex tuning, which is very well done. Valves closed. Very quiet, valves open, not too loud, uh, which is great because when you just straight pipe these RS7s, RS6s, they are just so loud. And this, I imagine, still has, yeah, you see, still has some silencers here at the end. And I think it's got a couple of silencers at the front still as well because it's very well done. For a custom exhaust, yeah. I think, yeah, there are two silencers over there as well. So uh, that is very well done because it is a DCAT car. It's got five inch downpipes, uh, which is massive, but still it sounds relatively uh, civil, which is quite nice. Love the rear end of this car. I think it's such a good looking car. So let's move on to the engine. <coughs> this is what you guys are here for, obviously. So, what we've got is the 4 liter V8 bi-turbo engine, stock 600 horsepower, 800 newton meters, but with this Brex tuning power division kit uh, stage 3, we've got those custom Brex tuning downpipes, Catless 5 inch, which is just massive. Um, we've got hybrid turbos, intercoolers by power division, ECU tune and TCU tune by power division as well. And then we've got an upgrade fuel pump by Power Division, uh, which gives us a total of 1038 horsepower and 1200 newton meters of torque. Eventuri intake carbon as well, always nice to have. And it's got an 18 liter water methanol injection kit tank, whatever. It's got a, it's got a kit, a WMI kit, and it's got an 18 liter tank here, which they have. They have done that really well. This is just so nice and snug. Nice little cover. Yeah, that is done very well. So that keeps everything cool. And then we've got a little light right there somewhere in here. Oh yeah, in there. And uh, so you will be able to see that flickering away. That means that the kit is injecting uh, at that time when, when the light is flickering, which is very nice. Interior wise, we hardly see them any different than this. Uh, we had the, the green one with Audi exclusive leather by uh, Andy the Don, uh, the master of specking Audis. Uh, this is black with carbon. This is usually how we see them, but it is a nice interior. I just don't like the double screen setup. I'll not close the door, I'll start it up so you guys can hear it. So this is valves closed. 
and you can hear that when you get uh, close to a certain RPM, it opens up the valves. So when you keep it low, it's perfectly fine. And then when you put it in RS1, for instance, you can hear them opening up. That is very loud. I'm not going to rev it too hard because it's Saturday morning. So I don't want to disturb the people too much. So close the valves, that's much better. Let's take it for a drive. Now, the beautiful thing about this car in general, this platform RS6, RS7, is that it can handle this amount of power very easily because the chassis, the suspension, everything has been set up to be comfortable and steady. Now, that does mean that, you know, handling wise, it's not the greatest. It can get a little bit floaty sometimes, but it also means that it is relatively easily controllable. I'm not going to hit the tunnel because there are horses there. Exhaust is too loud. So when you hit the throttle, it is more like a, an issue of keeping the car straight, but not keeping the car under control, if you know what I mean. So RS1, manual mode, second gear. <laughs> Holy moly! This. Oh, wow. And the beautiful thing about this Brex tuning version is that it feels like an RS7 from the factory. It just. It runs so well. As I said, you can see the water methanol light flickering there on the left, which does look very cool. And you can hear the exhaust crackling away that is quite loud a bit too loud for my liking but at least when you're on it you know full throttle it is not crazy loud which I, I really like that of course it is way too fast for a B road so I have to kind of you know control myself as well <laughs> oh, that 1200 newton meters, man, you will feel that. Damn, that is, that is quite impressive. All right, so let's do a little launch. Gearbox in sport, traction control all the way off. Okay, so no one behind me, foot on the brake, full throttle, launch control. Oh. <laughs> so it did struggle for traction there for just half a second maybe, and then it just hooked up like crazy. It, it is truly impressive, this power division kit by Brex Tuning, honestly. And I've seen quite a few of these RS6 and RS7s uh, on Instagram at Brex Tuning. So, I mean, they are building quite a few of them and I can see why because, man, this is impressive. <laughs> oh, that is relentless. Jeez Louise. So we actually did 2.86 second zero to 100 with this car which is just outrageously quick uh, we can't go above 300 kilometers an hour for too long so we're not going to break any top speed records here but we'll see what we can do today that is 333 on the speedo without too much trouble i would say and as you can see we would have had a nice little straight here so i mean 350 360 should be possible with a car with this amount of power i mean it does 330 so easily that is just crazy okay let's slow down a bit and do another little run of course we also measured the 100 to 200 kilometer an hour time so that would be something like this full throttle measured 
did a 4.77 100 to 200 which is very quick and that definitely confirms the fact that this thing has a 1038 horsepower no question about it uh, it, it runs beautifully it hasn't given a beep today it it just works it goes every time you hit the throttle it says let's go I mean the way this thing hits 300 is just outrageous and then we've got these carbon ceramics to slow you down that was a bit late on my part but hey now we also measured the quarter mile which it did in 10.1 seconds which is also crazy I mean we don't want to strain the car too much doing too many quarter mile launches of course but uh, we did it once and we did it 10.1 if we would try we would be able to get this car under 10 seconds which is quite crazy it sounds so it sounds powerful it sounds brutal because it's not too loud it 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 doesn't try to show off too much which i really like uh so this is actually the fastest audi rs6 or r7 uh, we have ever done and that says a lot because we've done a lot of these c7 c8 this is the fastest one <sighs> that is impressive so guys at brex tuning thank you so much for taking your power division rs7 to us really appreciate it this thing runs like a dream very impressed by it if you have a c8 rs6 or rs7 go take it to brex tuning because they can build you this absolute monster of a car thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the bit button in the middle you can also check out this video on the right or this playlist of reviews on the left see you at the next one bye